السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو ریمائنڈور سیریز ٹوڈیز ٹاپک ریڈنگ قرآن فور ڈیسیز لیٹس بگن وید دا دعا نحمد و نسلی علی رسولہ الکریم اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الجین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کین آئی ریڈ قرآن فور دا ڈیسیز ٹو بینیفٹ دیم اور ڈونیٹ دا ریوارڈ ٹو دیم یو نو وی سی زواب اور بکشنا ان اردو آنسر نو ڈاؤٹ Reading Qur'an is one of the most noble deeds. And Qur'an is hidayah, guidance, and light and healing. In fact, if it wasn't for the Qur'an, we would be lost and gone astray. But it's not just about what the act is, rather it also how and when and where it's done. When you study Usul al-Fiqh, there are certain Legal maxims, you will learn that form, the basis of our deen. One of those principles is that all acts of ibadah are haram except those that have proof from the Quran and authentic hadith, that is sunnah. In other words, no one can just come up with any act of ibadah and claim to be part of the sharia. They have to bring proof for it. Based on the above legal maxim, they will do only those acts of ibadah that are proven from the practice of Prophet And we will do in the manner that Prophet has shown us how he did it. Uh, at the time that Prophet ﷺ did them and in the place the Prophet ﷺ showed how to do it. So here we have to see the proof in the sunnah. Then only we'll do it. So when we look uh, proofs from the authentic sources for reading Quran for the deceased, we find no such proof. Nothing from the Quran. Nothing from the practice of Prophet ﷺ. or his noble sahaba companions. There is no proof of reading Quran for the deceased. Not Surah Al-Fatiha, not Surah Al-Yaseen, not any other particular surah or ayah from the Quran. Prophet ﷺ never read Quran for deceased person, loved ones, and neither did the sahaba companions. There were many deaths in the lifetime of Prophet ﷺ. from his loved ones, his own sons and daughters passed away in front of him. His beloved wife, Khatija radiallahu uh, anha, passed away in front of him. His beloved uncle, Hamza radiallahu was martyred in front of him. But did he ever read Quran for them? You know, Bakashna or did anything that like, you know, giving reward to them? No, never. It's a big no. If it was good, he, Salalal Islam, would have done so and encouraged us to do it. But why people are doing it? Because it's like cultural. They are not doing according to the Sharia or according to Sunnah. He never did it, but he didn't do it anytime. So, we shouldn't do it either. Quran is a book for living. to read and understand and implement in their lives. We are still alive so that we can change for the better, live our lives according to Quran and Sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Al-Saad, Ayah number 29, this is the book Quran which we have sent down to you, full of blessings. that they may ponder over its verses and that men of understanding may remember. So, Surah Al-Saad, Ayah number 29, here we see, Kitab al-Anzal nahu ilayka mubarakun li yudabbaru ayatihi wa li yutazakkara ulil albar. This is a blessed book which we have revealed to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that they might reflect upon its verses and those of understanding would be reminded. Ulul al-Bab. So, good would the Quran do for a person if he passed away? The time for him to act on it has gone. 
So this life, then we are alive, read Quran, love Quran, understand, implement. But once the person is gone from this world, you can make dua and you can do all the sabha doing anything good. And even when you are putting charity, you can do your niya for the deceased person too. And anything, any good deed you are doing and you are uh, making an intention for the deceased, it will be benefited. And whatever the beneficial knowledge he has taught or she has taught, it will reward them. And whatever the good, like, you know, maybe he uh, planted trees and people are getting the shade, people are eating the fruits, he will get the reward. And whatever the good deed he he did when he was alive he will get it but there is no such thing like reading quran and giving him sawab or giving him the you know ajar for that no sheikh ibn baz said regarding reading quran for the deceased there is no report in the quran or in sunnah or from any companion to indicate that it is prescribed to give one's reading of quran on the reward you know giving the sawab or anything Rather, Allah has enjoyed reading Quran so that one may benefit from it, learn from it, ponder its meaning and act upon it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned Surah Al-Fussilat, Surah number 41, Ayah number 44. It says here in this Surah, and we had made it non-Arabic Quran. They would have said, why are its verses not explained in detail in our language? Is it a foreign recitation, an Arab messenger? Say it is for those who believe a guidance and cure. Wala shifa wal la fi And those who do not believe, in their ear is deafness. And is upon them blindness. Those are being Call from a distant place. And Prophet said, read Quran for it will come as an intercessor for its companion. So read Quran, love Quran, memorize it and make your, you know, like a companion. Everybody thinks, you know, this is my friend. Quran is your best friend. Because it will intercede in the grave. Who told you that? It's in the sunnah. It's an authentic hadith. Whoever reads Quran, read and ascend. And some of the ulama says, read and ascend those who are huffas. And some of the ulama says, those who read regular nazir Quran. And Surah Al-Mulk, it will intercede and intercede. And it will save from the punishment of the grave and he وسلم, said the Quran will be brought on the day of resurrection along with its people who used to act upon it preceded by Surah Al-Baqarah Surah Al-Alimran like two clouds or two flocks of birds spreading their wings pleading on behalf of their companions those who used to read them Point is that it was revealed to be acted upon and pondered to be read as an act of worship and read a great deal, not to be given to the dead or anyone else as a sabab or as a, you know, we say bakashna, no. There's nothing like any source, we don't find it. Prophet Wasallam said, whoever does an action that is not in accordance with this matter of ours, will have it rejected. Some scholars uh, view that it's not permissible, permissible for any reason. There is no reason why the reward for reading Quran and other righteous action. Some of them, you know, for like, you know, uh, the case of charity and dua for the deceased. You know, you can read a lot of Quran and make dua for the deceased person. There's nothing wrong. But you, you are thinking like you are donating that reward to somebody. It's no such thing like it's not permissible to analogies with the regard to the act of worship because they can only be proven by the text from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is Quran and Sunnah. So we don't find anything such. Ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullah said, 
it was not from the practice of righteous people when they prayed optional prayers or fasted or performed hajj or recited quran that they would give that to their deceased muslims there was no such thing in fact from their practices was to make dua as proceeded so it is not permissible for the people to deviate from the path of the righteous which is better and more complete may allah enable us to follow the sunnah and live our lives according to the teaching of quran and sunnah may allah guide us all jazakallah khairan kaseera